NASA is on edge as tomorrow a nearly thousand meter wide meteor is expected to skim past Earth, though it's not likely to make contact. RT's Anya Parampel breaks it down and looks into the looming threat of impact. It's the type of threat that movie stars like Bruce Willis, Owen Wilson, and Ben Affleck have been called into fight. The threat that a massive space object may one day collide with Earth, causing a virtual Armageddon. And currently, one mammoth of an asteroid is making its way towards Earth and is estimated to reach its closest point tomorrow, according to NASA. Now, the asteroid named 2014 YB35 is traveling at speeds around 37,000 kilometers or 23,000 miles per hour and is expected to pass by our blue planet within a 2.8 million mile radius, a distance not that grand in astronomical terms. But have no fear, the NASA estimated 990 meter wide space rock is expected to make its journey safely, avoiding any contact with Earth. YB35 is making its celestial debut just three months before the first ever Asteroid Day, an event to be held on June 30th. Asteroid Day is being held after a contingent of astronauts, cosmonauts, space experts and physicists like Richard Dawkins banded together in an effort to raise awareness of the potential risk of an asteroid impact here on Earth. The June 30th date is significant as it is the anniversary of the 1908 Tunguska incident, which was the largest asteroid to make contact with Earth in recent history. In that case, a 50 meter wide rock hit Siberia making an estimated energy impact of up to 15 megatons of TNT. That's 1,000 times the energy released by the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima, which is why scientists believe that the likelihood of potential impacts is something to be taken very seriously. In fact, as rock band Queen artist and astrophysicist Brian May put it, the more we learn about asteroid impacts, the clearer it becomes that the human race has been living on borrowed time. We are currently aware of less than 1% of objects comparable to the one that impacted Tunguska. And nobody knows when the next big one will hit. It just takes one. Certainly one is all it takes, but for now, one thing is clear. Not today, asteroid, and not tomorrow. The undeniable truth. Scientists have known for decades that something odd was going on in the solar system. They recorded their findings, and this is what they found. Something is affecting the entire solar system.
Look, I'm not trying to scare anyone, and you older souls will understand that. But while I was making this video, I came up with a little catchphrase I would like to use from now on. So feel free to use it. It goes like this. Don't get scared, just get prepared. Don't get scared, just get prepared. Don't get I'm Chief Meteorologist Jamie Simpson. Have any of you seen this image on Facebook showing what appears to be two moons in the sky. Maybe you've seen this circulating in an email. This is actually two moons from Saturn, by the way. Maybe you've heard. Will the moon be as big as Mars? Will it look like this? No, it will not. The truth is it's a hoax first circulated back in August 2003. And at that time, uh, Mars was the closest to Earth in long, long time, thousands of years. Then again, in 2005, 2007, also hoaxes and it's rumored to happen again at 12.30 a.m. on Tuesday. Well, what will you see? Well, the moon and Mars will be very close to each other in the sky, but Mars will only be about 1 140th the size of the moon, and it's all about the distance from the Earth. This is about how they'll look on that uh, night and in pretty much any other night. The average distance of the moon is 238,000 miles from Earth, Mars is a much larger planet. In fact, Mars is bigger than Earth, but at its closest, it's at 34 million miles. So if you do look outside up in the sky at that time, it should look more like this.